Hi everyone, Run Credit reporting. As you can see, I'm doing a lot of flying lately. Today is February the 19th. I have the numbers for you today and you are not going to like them. They're not good numbers, so I won't tell you, but they're going to come up pretty soon because I'm not giving you any special videos today. I just didn't have enough time to put all of that together. So we're just going to dive right into the numbers. I only want to remind you of one thing. Village Beach Market is open. Finally, they finally got open. It looks great. I haven't seen it myself. I've seen pictures online and it looks spectacular. That's here in Indian River Shores for you folks who don't know where the Village Beach Market is. You're going to really enjoy it. you got to go in and give it a try. They spent a lot of money, four million bucks, putting that place together. So stop by and take a look at it. I'm trying to get somebody to get me some video, so I'll have it for you for tomorrow because I don't know exactly where I'm going to be. Thank you for watching the video today. Don't forget to push the like button. Appreciate that very much. And I look forward to seeing you back here again tomorrow. And now I'm going to dive right into the numbers. And as I say, you're not going to like the numbers, but they're here anyway for you. I always try to give them to you when I get them. So here they go. Back in a flash. Hi, everyone. Ron Kreider here in the numbers department for Friday. It is February the 19th, and uh, we have a lot of red on the screen today. Sorry to say that. It's the end of the week. You know, of course, Saturday and Sunday generally becomes a little bit more green because I don't think we get as many numbers in on Saturday and Sunday. But uh, let's take a look at what we got here. 216 new deaths reported in the entire state of Florida. That's 51 more than yesterday. Yesterday, we had 165. Positives, 6,683. That's 1,566 more than yesterday. Yesterday, it was 5,117. Now, take the number of vaccinations. Total vaccinations for the entire state of Florida so far, 3,911,999. Total number of vaccinations in the past 24 hours, 108,796. So, uh, a lot of numbers. I mean, that's a, that's a big number. 108,000 we did in one day. Pretty good. Not bad at all. Okay. We well, are still a long way to go, but nonetheless, we're making some progress here. M Miami Dade, 28 new deaths to report in the past 24 hours, 1,550 new positives, 8,650 new vaccinations in Miami Dade. Let's go down to Broward County. Broward County's Fort Lauderdale. 13 new deaths to reports, 784 new positives, 5,083 new vaccinations. And then in Palm Beach, Palm Beach County, 11 new deaths to report, 476 new positives, 4,909 new vaccinations in the Palm Beaches. In Orange County, that's Orlando, we had nine new deaths to report, 354 new positives, and 1,843 new vaccinations up there in the Orlando area. Then in Brevard County, that's Melbourne, seven new deaths to report, 120 new positives, 1,552 new vaccinations in the Brevard area, the Melbourne area. Alrighty, here we are in St. Lucie County, that's Fort Pierce. Three new deaths to report in the Fort Pierce area, 84 new positives, 782 new vaccinations there. Martin County, Martin County is Stewart, one new death to report, 41 new positives, 528 new vaccinations. Not very many for Martin County. Indian River County, well, we had 1,412 new vaccinations. That's a good thing. And no new deaths. That's another good thing. 45 new positives, though. Now, let's take a look at the positives for the zip codes here in Indian River County. Zip code 32948, we had five new positives. Zip code 32958, 10. Zip code 32960, Vero Beach proper, four new positives. Zip code 32962, 10 new positives. Zip code 32963 here on the Barrier Island, four new positives. Zip code 32966, one new positive. Zip code 32967, four new positives. And zip code 32968, 14 new positives. Take you over here and show you what's going on with this seven-day moving average thing here. Not too happy about this today. As you can see, it's turned red now. Yesterday, it was a green 156, which means it came down from where it was before. But then today, it went back up again. So yesterday it was 156. Today it's 161. That indicates that approximately 161 people passed away each day for the past seven days in the entire state of Florida. Now we're down here taking a look at the states that we report every day. Now, 
let's take a look at the total number of vaccinations that have been given out thus far here in the United States. Almost 60 million. 59 million 82,379. Those are the number of total number of vaccinations. 59 million, almost 60 million. Total number of vaccinations in the past 24 hours, 1,579,500. 1,579,500. Total of the vaccines have been used up. The federal government has at the moment, but more are on their way. In Texas, 89,324. They've used up 82% of theirs. California, 201,092. They've used up 76% of their vaccines. Florida, as I said, 108,796. They've used up 81% of theirs. Rhode Island, 5,684. They've used up 74% of their vaccines. We go to Colorado now. Colorado, 33,990 new vaccinations. They've used up 82% of their vaccinations. Their vaccines, I should say. Wisconsin, 29,973. They've used up 86% of their vaccines. Minnesota, 28,310. They've used up 81% of theirs. And in New Jersey, 49,357. They used up 86% of their vaccines. And the state of New York, 97,776 new vaccinations in the past 24 hours. They've used up 85% of their vaccines. Now I'm going to show you some of these deaths in the past 24 hours and the past 48 hours. First, the past 48 hours for the entire United States. I have to move this over here. I never can seem to get it exactly the way I want it. So let's see if we can do it, make it just a teeny bit smaller here and we'll be able to see everything. All righty. Entire United States 48 hours ago, 2,775. Those are the number of people who died as a result of COVID 48 hours ago. And let's see, I got to move it over so I can tell what state it is. Texas was 155, California 431. This is 48 hours ago. Florida was 165, 48 hours ago, 216, 24 hours ago. Rhode Island was 15, 48 hours ago, 9, 24 hours ago. Colorado was 26, 48 hours ago. Wisconsin was 18, 48 hours ago, 35, 24 hours ago. Minnesota, 14, 48 hours ago, 8, 24 hours ago. New Jersey, 89, 48 hours ago, 63, 24 hours ago. And New York, 219, 48 hours ago, 136, 24 hours ago. Way to go, New York. These numbers are coming down a little bit for those guys. And we'll take a look at the numbers over here. I'm keeping my eye on North and South Dakota just to see what's going on there. Now, you know, they're very small states. They had 48 hours ago, four deaths, and South, Car- South Dakota had three. I don't have a report for North Carolina for 24 hours ago, but South Dakota did go up to six from three over the 48-hour number. So those are the numbers so far that we have today. I won't have any more numbers for you for these states until we do this tomorrow. All right, let's go back up here and take a look at what we call the global view. The global view. 27,938,267. Those are the number of people who got COVID-19 here in the United States since we started. 495,000. 15, those are the number of people who passed away here in the United States as a result of COVID-19. The total number of cases in the entire world, 110,547,000, and they give some change in there. Huge, huge, huge number, 110 million and a half. Very big number. The global deaths, way, way too many, 2,448,188. Those are the number of people who passed away as a result of COVID in the entire world. So those are the numbers I have for you today. Still on the road, still traveling. Sorry about that, but I want to keep you up to date with all the latest information. As I've said in the beginning of the video, uh, the uh, Village Beach Market is now open. I saw that online. It looks really great. I wanted to be there for you to give you some fresh video. I'll try to get somebody to get some video for me tonight or tomorrow. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that tomorrow there will be fresh video on this fabulous new Village Beach Market. That was a uh, supposed to be a $2.5 million job. Well, it's a $4 million job now, so it went up considerably in order to get the thing done, but it is really great. It's not a convenience store. It's a grocery store, for heaven's sakes, but it is a very convenient grocery store for the people who live on the beach on the Barrier Island. So, Come on, you got to go in there and give those guys a hand now. They spent a ton of money to give you a really nice place to shop and make it much more efficient, and it's just fantastic. I've been in there as it's been going together, as you know, and I've been putting up videos for it, but 
they they're going to need a lot of help from all of us to support them and try to start paying back that four million dollars. So let's give them a hand and give go over and support the Village Beach Market here in Indian River Shores in Vero Beach, Florida. All right, thank you very much for watching. Have a very blessed rest of your day for Friday. Look forward to seeing you back here on Saturday. And I never can tell where I'm going to be. I've been on the road most of this week. And uh, well, I'll let you know when I show up tomorrow where I'm going to be. So see you tomorrow. Ron Kreider signing off.